Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Twister, and today I am bringing you another Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay. Um, this time round, I'm bringing you another gameplay from Strike Zone, but this is some domination, obviously 6v6 domination. And the weapon I'm using is the SC2010. I think it's the same weapon I was using on my live commentary first game on um, of Call of Duty Ghosts, um, the SC2010. Um, if you haven't seen um, the previous video, my first ever um, ever game on Call of Duty Ghosts, um, I, live comment I, li I did a live commentary over it, and if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description to that video. As I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you may have missed it due to a lot of videos being uploaded on the release day of Call of Duty Ghosts. So um, for this video, I'm going to be talking um, well about Call of Duty Ghosts in general. It's been out for two days now. Um, been out well, out released two days now, and um, two days in, it's no, it's usually the time when we start to get a better idea of the game, how it plays, and we start to formulate our opinions on it. And a lot of these opinions that I've been hearing from other YouTubers a lot about the maps now um, I just wanna um, quick pause briefly and quickly um, let you guys know of a nice little clip I get here I get a nice quad feed I take out these two guys take out a third and just in between uh, my guard dog gets a kill so the guard dog is really really good in this game it, it growls and barks when enemies are near you and it kills other enemies for you and a lot of the time I'd say nine times out of ten if you get killed by an enemy your dog will kill the enemy unfortunately there and my dog does get taken out but anyway like I was saying about the maps now these have been more or less the main talking point of Call of Duty Ghosts so far so I'm gonna give you my brief opinions on it as as I said we're only two days in so um, f um, opinions start to form like but we can't really um, get a true feel um, of what the, of how it's gonna play for um, for a year's worth of playing so um, quite briefly I think although yes the maps are really big I don't think they're bad like it, big maps in Call of Duty goes one or two ways um, the first one is kind of a positive way it it kind of forces us to um, find a new play style um, develop our play styles into playing on big maps you know um, I'm sure a lot of people will have been used to on um, on previous games in smaller maps enemies just being forced into their lines of sight and um, that's what that's what a lot of people say about so-called pub stomping it's just noobs being forced in front of their crosshairs and they just shoot them but um, this you really gotta think about your movement you really gotta navigate the map correctly um, cover to cover because um, in previous Call of Duty's we've had that like the standard three lane system you've got um, um, a route to the centre map and you've got two flank routes to the left and the right and um, it is a lot a lot different in Call of Duty Ghost the maps are a lot bigger and it does feel like on the, on a lot of the maps um, uh, there are several s stories to some of the buildings and I mean I know Chasm that is one example that map um, is pretty huge and the the main building in the center it, it just feels like there's like six or seven stories to it which personally I don't like and um, a lot of people have said they don't like it, but I don't I don't think the maps in general are bad it's just the size of them um, can be pretty controversial at this stage in the game especially when we are only limited to six versus six on the ground war so um, on um, on the current gen consoles and ground war is um, is to be released on the next gen console so um, that is that's um, not what we really wanted to hear but um, you gotta give credit to Activision and Infinity War that's gonna be the main selling point of the Xbox One having the next generation consoles which pretty much do cater perfectly to this map now um, also in this gameplay I do earn um, the battle hind right here in a second. I take out these two guys and I take out a third guy. So um, the battle hind is a really good kill streak. It's it's sort of a variation on the standard attack helicopter that we've seen throughout Call of Duty in the past. But is um, I'd say a really um, a real more powerful version. It shoots um, it shoots like it shoots bullets and it shoots rockets. So it does get you a lot more kills. So um, that is another quick tip um, for using the battle hind. So getting back. Um, to Call of Duty Ghost now um, I think I've spoken a lot about the maps um, yes they are really big but I don't think that's necessarily bad um, but it is it is um, 
is looking like a slight problem for Call of Duty Ghosts currently when we only have 6v6 now. I also want to briefly talk about the weapons as well just before this video comes to an end. I have mainly been using the assault rifle because of, this, of the maps being so huge. Um, I mean on this map which is Strike Zone this is the smallest map by far so I think um, an SMG might be worth using on this map I'm gonna have to um, test that out once I get a bit more playtime on the game so um, yeah the SMG could be pretty effective on this map because um, it is the smallest but in general I have been only using the assault rifles and so far the SC-10, the AK-12 and the MSBS which is a 3 round burst they are by far my 3 favourite assault rifles um, that I've been use, uh, using pretty well so far in Call of Duty Go so I want I want you guys to let me know what you think of the maps mainly and the guns in Call of Duty Ghost by leaving a comment down below and if you want to support the video by cl clicking a like that helps too and subscribe to see more videos from me so I'll hopefully see you all in the next video see you later guys